This probably isn't going to be that shocking for you, but I like cake. I know most of you are probably thinking, who doesn't like cake? There's people out there who don't like cake. And you're right, people who don't like cake shouldn't be trusted. After all, there are so many types of cake out there. Some people like regular old plain white cake, some people like chocolate cake, some people like bump cake, or strawberry shortcake, or cheesecake. And I found out recently that a lot of people like carrot cake. Though it is true I'm not a huge fan of chocolate cake. But that's because I'm not a huge fan of chocolate at all. But for me, the best cake is lemon cake. See, here's the thing. I can't just go to the store and buy a cake. Most of it I can't eat because I'm vegan. Indulging in the confectionery awesomeness of light fluffy cake and delicious frosting is really a once in a blue moon occurrence for me, mostly just on my birthdays, unless I wanna bake myself a cake. Now while sitting down and baking myself a cake isn't necessarily hard, it is a little bit gluttonous. You might be wondering how this ties in with this video. Well, I'm gonna bake you a cake, a vegan one. I've decided to make a white cake with lemon frosting and strawberry filling. And I hope it turns out because if it doesn't, that'd be embarrassing. Now I got my recipe right here. It's written out by hand. Yes, that is my printing. No, I can't really read it. Now before I get started, I just wanted to clarify that I'm no Rachel Ray. I'm not super charismatic and I'm not gonna say cute words like yummo. I'm also not Gordon Ramsay, so you're not gonna see me yelling and cursing and mistreating people. Although, I am baking by myself, so that would be kind of odd to see me mistreating myself. And I really don't think me mistreating myself would be an appropriate video for all age groups. So are you ready? Let's get bacon. That sounded like I said, let's get bacon. I meant, let's get baking. First up, we're going to preheat the oven to 350 degrees. So the first thing that you wanna do is grease your pans. Kinda sounds dirty. Those pans are greased. Now it says to blend one and a third cups of sugar and half a cup of margarine. This is where I keep my sugar. It sort of screams 70s. I like a lot of the plates and bowls and things like this from the 70s. I also like a lot of the furniture from the 70s and some of the cars from the 70s were pretty cool. And actually, funny enough, I like my men born in the 70s. This doesn't fit. One. And then we blend. Sift flour, baking powder, and salt. See, here's where we run into trouble because I don't have a sifter. So I'm not going to sift. Three cups of sugar. One, two, three. One tablespoon of baking powder. And three fourths a tablespoon of salt. I'm just gonna give this a light stirring. Now the trusty old recipe says to add the dry ingredients to the creamed ingredients. I need to add two cups of almond milk. One. I got batter all over my everything. This is the tiniest spatula in the world. Now we add the vanilla and almond extract. Vanilla. Isn't it weird how the smell of vanilla extract is so awesome, but the taste of it is simply evil? I've never used almond extract. This is the first recipe I've ever used that has called for it. It smells really good. I imagine it's quite like the vanilla where it smells good, but it probably tastes like butt. And now it says to beat for two more minutes. That felt like two minutes. Back with the little spatula. So that's my batter. And I'm gonna pour it into the pans. And then I'm gonna bake it. So there you have it, two white cakes. I'm pretty sure I have batter on my face. I'm gonna pop these in the oven and it's gonna take 30 minutes for them to bake. I still have to make the filling for the cake and the frosting for the cake. So I'm gonna do that right now. So the filling only calls for four ingredients, sugar, cornstarch, water, and strawberries. Here's my problem. The recipe I wrote down for the filling doesn't tell me if I should chop the strawberries, it just says two and a half to three cups, and I'm gonna slice them, and hopefully that's correct. Now it says that we're gonna mix the cornstarch syrup and water with the strawberries, and we're gonna cook it down until it's thick, and we're going to cook it into a pot, which is pretty obvious. One cup, two cups, I think I'd make a very excellent housewife. 
Recaps. Okay, so let's go over to the stove. So this calls for three-fourths of a cup of sugar. It calls for three tablespoons of cornstarch. Three. And one cup of water. That's 30 minutes, it's up. I have Christmas cat oven mitts. And these are our cakes. I need to get these out of the pan and I'm gonna put them in the fridge to cool. All right, we're back to the filling. I think it's getting thicker. That's what she said. Hi. Hi. What's that? What is that? What is that? So I'm gonna put it in a small bowl and put it into the fridge to cool. So there it is, the filling. It's really hot, but I kinda wanna taste it. Mmm, it's really good. Burning my tongue off, but really good. Now it's time to make the frosting. As I said before, I'm gonna do lemon frosting, which means I need lemons. There are only four ingredients to the frosting. Margarine, icing sugar, lemon juice, and lemon peel. All right, so we need four tablespoons of lemon juice. So I'm gonna start squeezing. Keep squirting me. <laughs> I can't tell you why this is so funny. So I need two thirds a cup of margarine, four cups of icing sugar, and one teaspoon of lemon peel. There we go. And now we do as Michael Jackson said, and we beat it. Well, at least the stuff that sprayed up into my face tasted pretty good. So now the task at hand is to fill the cake, ice the cake. I'm not a cake decorator, so this probably isn't gonna go very well. And I'm going to put the filling on it. There we go! Uh, there may or may not have been a little bit of trouble getting the top on with the filling oozing out. Now let's ice it. So here she is, my strawberry lemon cake. Thank you for joining me this week for a rather domestic vlog. Hopefully I will see you all again next week for another edition of That Girl Tyson. General quarters, general quarters, all hands man your battle stations, all hands man your battle stations. It's kind of too pretty to eat. Just kidding. Mmm, cake. It fills my belly with joy.